Hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, Crochet Creations. I'm so happy to have you. Today, I wanted to take you along on a little week in my life vlog. We are actually packing, and so it's a little bit disheveled. We are getting ready to go on a trip to Arizona. My husband has a work trip, and we figured that myself and my toddler, Georgia, should just come along with and have some fun. I am a work at home mom stay at home mom and so it'll look a little different only in that I can only bring so many things with me to work on and it'll be a little bit different scheduling and we'll be doing hopefully more fun outings than we normally do kind of get out of our routine but I thought it would be fun to show you the projects I'm packing what I end up working on how the whole week actually turns out as far as crocheting and knitting time so I thought I would take you along with me I kind of have a disheveled pile over here of all the projects I was thinking about bringing with me and you'll see my cat is loving on my yarn. So I'll kind of share what I've got. Right here the, my cat Alfred is lying on. That is a custom order. It's a bolero. I've got one and a half front panels done and the back panel done. So other than seaming, I just need to finish that panel and do the sleeves. So I want to bring that so I can get that most of the way done if not finished. I've got the yarn to start a newborn pair of Mountains Call socks, which is my pattern that is coming out really soon. I wanted to make a newborn size for my sister-in-law that's having a baby, and I want to film some tutorials for doing color work knitting with those socks. And then I've also got, this is my sock bag, yay! This is where I've got my daily socks by Summerly Knits. And those are a good project to have on hand if I'm just doing some traveling. Probably this project will be with me on the plane since it's easy to carry. I might have that too as like something else to work on to switch tasks. Mm, we shall see. And then I've got some yarn here for two different projects for some secret designs that I'm working on for an easy crochet or a beginner crochet book. So I have four designs total in that book. One of them I just finished. I have one started and then one in the queue to start there. So hopefully I can get some progress done on those so I don't take a complete week off of that since I have four designs to do in like six weeks. So kind of a little bit of a time crunch compared to what I normally do. And then here, is my Brookline blouse by Miss and Makes. I'm using some scrap yarn and I'm actually getting really close to doing the ruffle on the bottom. And I wanna go back and fix the sleeves, make them a little less frilly. So they put my arm a little bit more fitted. So that project is almost done. So I really wanna bring it just so I can finish it. It'd be nice to bind off on something, especially cause I'm really close. It's kind of common to accidentally bring way more to work on than you actually will work on. Granted, it is a vacation. We're not meeting anyone in particular. So it's really just our time. So that'll give me more time to work on things. I don't know. I don't want to be underprepared, but I don't want to be overprepared either. Let me know how you pack, what kind of projects you pack for a trip. We'll be on for eight days. It's not too far of a plane ride, but we do have a stop. Not a connecting flight. We'll stay on the same flight, but we do have a stop, and then we will go again for the second leg of our flight. A little bit of a longer travel day today. In some ways, I feel like I don't need this many projects, but in other ways, I know that I need to switch around projects. I can't be monogamous as a knitter or crocheter. I need multiple projects so that when I get tired of one, I can switch to another. I can work on kind of what's what I fancy in the moment. We'll see if I throw in an extra cast on. I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I shouldn't. Especially cause like even my socks, I've got a sock and a half left to do. I have lots left to do on most of these projects. So maybe this will be a finishing week. Try to bind things off. I guess we'll see.
Georgia. What do you see? been a little bit since I've had the chance to talk back in the hotel room with my little one and my husband's taking a nap. He's actually gonna be working graveyard shift while we are here in Arizona for this quick little trip. So he is napping trying to get his sleep schedule in the right spot. But you saw last night I did not get a lot of knitting done at all. I got one row done on my socks with all our traveling and then in the evening I was able to sit down work on my Brookline blouse. I might work on that today but I was able to as we were driving around a little bit we had errands we picked up some groceries so we'd have food this week. I was working on my Bolero uh, custom order working on the second front panel and so I need to go and see how many rows I've done and mark it off so that I can finish the front panel. I think today would be really nice. That would be good to get that done. And then maybe try my Brookline blouse to see if I need to make it any longer. Just make note of that. It's been really nice for like evening knitting, just sitting in bed and being cozy. And then after that, I think I'm going to end up working on my cowl pattern for the book designs that I need to do. So unfortunately I can't show you too much about that. I've got a good idea of what I want to do. So it would be good to just like spend some time sitting down, work on some shaping and get that kind of taken care of. I'm hoping to get lots of work done this week so that when I come back, I will feel refreshed, but also have lots checked off on my list to do. All right, here you go. This is the top. I've got my barber cords to try it on. Makes it super easy to just kind of lengthen my needles so I can fit that on. I do like how it's fitting up top. Awesome. I feel like I want to go back and fix the sleeves because they're just really big. So I think I'm going to go go back and pick that, but that'll be a later me problem. <laughs> um, so this is eight inches from the underarm and the pattern recommends seven inches and I know it hits right about right now at my natural waist, but it's really cropped. And the things I'm planning on wearing this with, this is probably the highest crop thing and it's barely touching. And I really do want to have it covering and I have plenty of yarn left. So what I'm going to do, I think I've made an executive decision. I'm going to actually go down to the nap or the point in my hip, like not my hip bone, but just underneath it maybe so that that can be kind of where the ruffle is. So it'll be a longer shirt, definitely not cropped. But I think I'll get a lot more wear out of it. Uh. Hey, girly. Uh. What you doing? You playing around? Yeah. Do you like the mirror? Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. is asleep taking a nap just in the kitchen and this is a studio room at our hotel so it's quiet time right now I didn't necessarily have anything planned but I was able to get quite a bit of work done on that cowl design I'm happy with how far it's going and figured I'll switch gears I started making my plan for the week it's Monday today for kind of what I want to do with my time because it's like all open I have lots of goals I want to do but I don't have any plans for this week. So I think a big thing is I'm gonna be making a newborn pair of socks for my mountains called sock pattern so that I can one add that size into my pattern as well as film some reels for working on color work. Especially because it is three-stranded color work for some of it, which is a little tricky. Some of my pattern testers said it might be really helpful to have some reels or tutorials. So I think I'm going to be working on that this week. That's kind of a big goal. I'm making progress on the Polero, on these designs. 
So I've got lots of things to think about. I think I may start on the cuff of my newborn sock so I can get that going and just have some easy mindless knitting but also be getting somewhere. Maybe try to get the cuff done today so that I can maybe work on reels tomorrow. laces yeah we're helping out what an end to the day so it is like 10 30 at night and i haven't been able to pick up my phone for hours because we forgot the sound machine for our daughter and that's what and she uses one to sleep and so we've been using the ipad to play some white noise which has worked great except that I needed to use the iPad tonight to edit a vlog. I'll make sure to link that up above as well as down below in the description box. It's a vlog from when my family was visiting and my mom and I did a special little yarn store trip to a couple local yarn stores to me out near San Jose, California. So that was super fun. I did a little vlog, so I'll link that for you guys. I just finished it, so I spent a while working on that and then I had to export it which took literally forever Ugh. which just basically means I just save the edited version of the video back into my iPad so I did that I can finish the rest of it tomorrow which would be writing a thumbnail doing a description box uploading onto YouTube because it's a pretty short video so I think I'll do that tomorrow but that's what I was working on finally got that done and I've not had a lot of time to knit crochet do the yarn thing glad that i was able to get that video done because i think tomorrow we're going to a local yarn store maybe two depending on timing so we're gonna do a little yarn store haul in this video as well which is super fun for you guys it's always cool to see what local yarn stores have in common as well as what's different between them so i'm excited that's the plan for tomorrow but i did finish the front panel on my bolero so now i have the back panel and both front panels done so i need to do the little embellishment on the front panels seam things together and do the sleeves i made good progress on my cowl today i'm hoping to finish that up tomorrow you get to see it next fall in 2023 when the book comes out so hang tight <laughs> i got a cuff done with my baby socks so I gotta try to figure out if tomorrow, if there's a time during nap time, I can do my little reels. Quite sure. We shall see. I don't know. For some reason, I'm feeling super productive and I feel like I'm getting a lot done. There's a lot fewer distractions out here, but also I'm getting the chance to get outside and go do new things, which is really fun. So it's been good already, and it's only Monday night. <laughs> All right, we are here. So we just had some time at the park, met some fun new friends for Georgia. She's eating a snack now in her car seat. And we just got here. We are ready to go in. It just opened just a minute or two ago and I've already seen like three or four older women head on into the yarn shop. So I'm excited to head in and see what is in Tempe Yarn and Fiber. Do you like the little skeins of yarn? They're your size, huh?
Georgia, is it so soft? Is it so soft? This is beautiful. Right, you can probably hear Georgia snoring in the back. We finished up at Tempe Yarn and Fibers, I think it's called. Amazing, amazing yarn store. It had everything. I really liked how they were very inclusive of crochet and knitting. They also had a lot of materials for weaving and spinning, which is really cool. You don't see that very much. And it was a really, really big store. It had lots of great selection. It had an in-house brand of yarn, Dylicious Yarn I think it was called, and a bunch of other things. So I had a really hard time deciding what I wanted to get, but I got a couple things. But now we are outside of Phoenix Knits. Georgia was really tired I guess, so she fell asleep on the 20 minute ride <laughs> to Phoenix Knits. I've heard this is a much smaller store so we shouldn't be there very long, but I'm excited to take a look and see what they've got there. Actually, since Georgia's still sleeping, I figured I would just try to pull out what I've got. And I'll show you. First thing, I knew I had to get this. It's a pack of yarn. It's huge. It's Delicious Yarn Camelback. Oh, geez, this lighting. Super pretty. But it is 650 yards in the variegated skein and 430 yards in the felt color. So it's a sock base, 80 20 fingering weight but I could definitely use it for like a top or something, stripe it, I don't know, but it was beautiful and I loved it, it was a really good deal. So I got this, super pretty, all about the warm colors right now, which is kind of why I had a hard time deciding what else to get because so many colors stood out to me and they all were really like similar in the same vein and so it was really hard to pick out what spoke to me the most. But I got this to try a new type of fiber. To me, this is a Dilicious Yarn again, Chandler Base, which is 90% Targi and 10% Nylon. I asked them about it and it could work really well for socks. Targi refers to the sheep It was that the wool was taken from and the that breed of sheep, their wool is very sturdy. So this will work really well for socks, that's what they said, but non super wash, which is really exciting to try something new. It's got these beautiful, it's like sunset-y with the purplies and pinks and oranges and peaches. So that'll be really fun to see how it works out. That's all I got. I had a really hard time again deciding what to get. There was lots of really beautiful yarns there. And, but we gotta see what is here at Phoenix Knits now. Do you like that one? All right, so we just finished in Phoenix Knit. Really, really interesting selection. Uh, I was talking, the owner was there and basically when she retired, she wanted something to do. It's about 15 years ago. There was actually a yarn store going out of business and she bought their leftover stock. And I don't know how much she's purchased since then, but 
the majority of her yarns are all discontinued. So really interesting spread that you can choose from. Unfortunately, nothing was really calling to me, so I didn't grab anything while I was there. But it was a really interesting little shop and very like funky and had a very different feel than any yarn shop I've ever been to before. So I'm glad I was able to stop by. Like I said, nothing was super calling to me and I didn't want to buy yarn just to buy yarn. Um, literally forgot where our hotel is because I didn't even think about what the hotel is called. Hopefully I have directions to the right hotel. All right, I've got a new YouTube video posted. I can't do interesting thumbnails on the iPad or phones. So I had to create a thumbnail and upload it onto the computer so then I could go back through into YouTube on my computer and put the thumbnail in. Since I finished that and the description box, I was able to just publish this video, so it is live now. And then my sustainability video I worked on before we left for our trip, that is still scheduled for Friday, which is Earth Day. And I finished the thumbnail for that too. So I am like all caught up. Hey, Georgia! <laughs> Now I'm gonna do the other panel and attach it. And I'm actually going to leave this yarn attached so that I can start working on a sleeve, which is crazy. Hopefully I can get it to work. <laughs> Good morning, it is now Wednesday and we are about to head out. So husband is sleeping again, he won't be sleeping as long, we're gonna do lunch together and then do something this afternoon. But since he's sleeping this morning, I figured that I would go back to the yarn store. So I loved Tempe Yarn and Fibers, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And I wanted to go back because there's a couple skeins in my brain that are just swirling around in there that I can't get over that I really wanna go back and grab. It'd be fun to take a little bit of a closer look. I have at least two skeins that I have not been able to get over that I need to go back and grab. And since this is probably our last morning that we will have to you know do whatever we want, I think Georgia and I will go do that. Okay, mission accomplished, and I did not buy more than I was intending to buy on this trip. So, I call that a success, and we are headed back to the hotel, pick up my husband, wake him up from his nap, and then we will get out and do some things. Designs, got in Yuma, Arizona. This is their Faith Base. It is sock weight 7525. I decided on this game because I loved seeing the red yucca plants all over in this area of Arizona. And it was inspiring to me. I thought that I would maybe try to design a pair of socks inspired by the red yucca. And this is the perfect color for all the shades they come in. So I'm really excited about this. And I love this color. It's such a vibrant coral color. So super pumped about that. And then the other skein, it is Sonoran Desert Dyed Fiber. And they're really small. They've got a Facebook page, but I couldn't find any other website. The dyer gathers the plants and insects and whatnot used to naturally dye this yarn. So it's all using dye materials native to Arizona, which I think is super cool. And this is such a beautiful purple color. It's 100% British Blue Face Leicester Superwash. So maybe it would work for socks, because I know that that's like a more durable fiber. I'll have to look into it and see if this would work for socks or some kind of accessory, but I think it's a beautiful color. It's using cochineal, cochineal, which I looked up. Apparently it's some kind of a little bug that is traditionally used to make the carmine color if you're like a painter or dyer or whatnot. So super interesting. And honestly, no two skein was alike. There was like three or four that used that material to dye the yarn and they all look different. I didn't walk out with anything more than I had it gone back to get. So I'm proud of myself for that. So today has not been a yarn filled day. I don't know, I just feel like the days kind of disappeared. Walking down the hallway now with Georgia. We're gonna try to get some fresh air outside. Well, 
my husband finishes sleeping before we go get dinner together. Still being kind of a single parent over here, watching watching George and Well down sleeping, so not much not much done. But I'm hoping tonight I'll be able to get some more done. Probably I'll start on Oh, I didn't even say I finished the cowl. So that's really exciting that I finished that. I'm gonna block it before I seam it together, so it's not a hundred percent done. Pretty well there, so I'm happy to have done that i should probably sit down and work on that draft probably sh i should just do some fun knitting or crochet because i feel like i've been working for the past couple days and i clearly have not done a lot today because i just need a break so we shall see what i end up working on Okay, so I haven't been on here very much, kind of telling about my day, but there honestly hasn't been a lot that I've been able to work on, but got George down to sleep tonight pretty easy, thank goodness. I've just been sitting in bed and knitting away on my Brooklyn blouse, which I just put on to try. I think that this is a great length, honestly. I think I might just start the ruffles. Just barely transitioned into my ox blood. It's like a burgundy black red so I just barely transitioned all the way into that so I just barely used up my black yarn which is awesome my ruffle will be in the red I guess and so probably did not need to buy that extra scrap from my friend so now I gotta figure out what to do with the extra scraps of this color that I just bought from somebody else because I thought I needed it to complete this top but I think that this will work great I think I'm gonna just hold off on the tutorial for the uh, color work socks. I can just do that when I get back. Monday, Tuesday, maybe even Wednesday. It's fine. It's fine. So I'm gonna do one newborn sock without the tutorial just to enjoy it and get through it. And I'm going to just enjoy other things I get to work on today. I think I'll probably start working on the first sleeve of my bolero. And I did not finish my ruffle last night for my Brookline blouse. So be good to kind of work on that a little bit because once that's done, I can bind off and then I can go back and fix the sleeves. Georgia, did someone at the hotel give us some balloons? Did someone give us balloons? Oh, a big blue one and a red one. So nice. here to bind off my Brookline blouse because Georgia will not sleep. Dal is trying to snuggle her back to sleep. Um, I ended up taking a nap this afternoon when Georgia was sleeping. It was very refreshing but also left me a little bit groggy. But we went outside, played at the splash pad at a new park which is so nice. Got to meet a few people which is also really nice. I don't mind talking to people, but sometimes it's hard. So I like it when other people are friendly to me. It's been really great. We went to Gilbert to a barbecue place that was really, really good. I really enjoyed it. And we are now home, relaxing. I finished the frill, the ruffle on my top, and now I'm binding off the Brookline boss since I was able to get a little bit of work done this morning and cross off the cowl pattern draft from my list. I thought I would treat myself with something fun and I thought I would show you how I'm binding off. I learned this from Andrea Malvi. I'll link her tutorial down below. 
but it's how to use the Jenny's surprisingly stretchy bind off. And a tip that Andrea gives is to bind off on the wrong side of the work so that you have a nice edge. It's got a nice edge on the front of the work because I'm binding off on the wrong side. Here we go, it's finished. Got my ruffle. It's very poofy, so I'm hoping that with some steam blocking, I can kind of flatten it out just a little bit. Yay! Definitely want to go back and fix the sleeves, but that will be another day problem because I'm at least happy that I got this done. So cute. Oh, so cute. So uh, my toddler decided to wake up at like six this morning, even though she went to bed late. Hello, yes, I'm talking about you. Uh. I've been knitting on the couch with while Georgia watches TV because I just just can't can't do anything else this morning. In the Ravelry, a really cool tip is if you want to do modifications for a pattern. If other people have done the pattern, you can see their projects and read any notes they left so they can share the things that they might have done to modify a pattern. And so I saw someone modify the sleeves to make them a little smaller and not quite as open. And so I followed her instructions, which I'm so grateful they were there so that I didn't have to think about it. <laughs> so I'll link that project down below. I think that was really helpful. Are you knitting? Yeah. You're going to be a great knitter. I don't know if you can hear, but the bird noises are awesome. Hello, we are back from the zoo, had a little bit of quiet time, George has been watching some TV, and I've gotten to get some work done, so I was able to put my Mountains Call socks uh, up on Ravelry. Not the PDF pattern, like not the purchasable pattern, but I was able to put it within Ravelry's database, so now my testers can link their projects to my pattern, so that when I publish the pattern, the projects will be there attached to my pattern. So I did that, and I've been looking through my... A uh, cart for nitpicks. George is asleep. It was kind of a rough, tired out evening, but she was able to fall asleep really well, which is nice. So I'm going to just curl up in the bed, watch some YouTube, and work on some projects. I was only able to get through like maybe two rows of the arm on my bolero, but I'm started, which is great. I'm gonna keep going and try to do regular decreases and see kind of how that's working out. I'm excited, I, well, it looks okay starting out and I hope that it will continue to be so, but that should be pretty mindless as long as it works out how I think it will. And I also have the baby mountains call socks that I can work on if I wanna to switch to knitting. Oh, 
Hi, are you driving? Whoa! to get uh, here. Okay. Yeah. Mom's talking. It's mom's turn to get our last little bit of adventures out. So we went to that cool idea museum. It's a children's museum. And now Georgia and I are here because we really wanted to see the Hohokam remnants here. There's like this big building uh, and a bunch of different walls and things uh, that are hundreds and hundreds uh, of years old. It's really, really neat. I have not gotten a ton of knitting or crochet done before sitting down, relaxing this evening. was able to start on my baby blanket pattern for the book design. So I'm really happy that I got that started. I've already got the pattern like in my brain so I can just go. It's easy, easy project. But I also wanted to share. So it's maybe like 9 o'clock right now. I spent a little bit of time. I finished my first sleeve for my bolero. Oh my goodness, I included the same like scallopy lacy edging that I did along the edge. So now I just have one more sleeve to go. If you would be interested in the pattern, let me know. I'm feeling really good about it where it's at. So I'm gonna put this down for now. I just barely joined in my second skein of wool leg. So I got a lot of mileage out of that first one. And I'm gonna be working on my baby blanket and just relaxing, I think. Tomorrow is Sunday, and so I don't work on business type of projects on Sundays. So that includes things that I'm designing or things that I'm making to sell, anything like that. I only on Sunday work on fun projects or pattern tests that I'm volunteering for or gifts for other people, things that I'm making for donations, stuff like that. Just to kind of differentiate between business and personal, making Sunday a more sacred family and God-focused day for me. I'm trying to get as much done on like the worky type things tonight so that tomorrow can be spent hopefully weaving in ends on my Brookline blouse and working on my daily socks. So I wanted to share all the progress I made on my The Daily Socks while I was at church. So Georgia had a pretty good time ah, in our first hour of like sermon uh, class. That I could work on the socks like the whole time I was there. It was really nice and relaxing and I don't get to do that very often. I've done about 30 rows today which is awesome. I just tried it on and I'll show you where it's at. I'm pretty close to starting the toe. Great to finish a sock and maybe cast on the second one because those have been sitting around for a long time but I know sweet girl but I was working on weaving in my ends for my Brookline blast I got all of them done up until like this last little bit on the end because I want to make sure that I like how it looks with the jeans I would normally wear this top with so I'm not gonna weave in those last ends which actually are a lot because I used a lot of little scrappy bits <laughs> For, but I'm gonna wait until I can try it on and make sure it's the right length. I might want to make it a little bit shorter I'm not sure I'm a little hesitant And so that's why I'm not weaving in those last little ends to make it easier for me to finish off my top when we get back So it's really just my daily socks that I've got to work on on this Sunday Hey, baby Hey, baby, are you ready to watch some more TV? Yeah, okay. Thank you for waiting. I know it's hard.
holding mommy's bag. What a big helper. because Georgia woke up at 3 o'clock last night. <laughs> I need to go to bed a little bit earlier than I have been lately, which is probably good because we'll have an early morning with a flight tomorrow and kind of put back on a little bit on the schedule. But I wanted to show you how I'm doing on my second sock. I am blowing through this super fast. Ah, I finished the leg. I'm 40 rounds of the leg, 10 rows of the cuff too, and I'm maybe 10 rows in to the heel flap, so a good start on that. I think I just, I think I lost my sock knitting mojo. I spent a lot of time at the very end of last year knitting socks in a panic, and then this year I've been finishing off whips that I started last year as far as socks. This pair of socks is the only pair of socks I cast on in 2022, and I just haven't worked on them very much, probably because I just wasn't feeling it, but like just sitting down and working on them for a little bit, I've gotten a ton done today. Like that's awesome. So I'm really feeling excited to start more socks. Oh, I'm also doing the Summer Dreams knit along that Jessica of JS Threads 14 and I are hosting, where we're making projects from Pom Pom Magazine from their spring issue this year, which is very dreamlike, and I think the issue is called Dreamscape. Anyway, so I'm making the Reverie socks from that, so I'll be casting those on this coming week when we get back. Creaking out, these socks are reminding me why I like socks. <laughs> it's just really enjoyable. Tell me you're a fiber artist without telling me you're a fiber artist. Literally, almost half of my suitcase is full of yarn and projects. Hello! Just wanted to close out this vlog. Thank you so much for joining along in a week in my life while we were on vacation. It was really fun to share with you the things that we did, both yarn related things like going to Tempe Yarn Store, which is definitely a highlight, hence why I went twice, and to do things that were not yarn related too, to go sightsee a little bit, the different things we experienced. We didn't do any like crazy sightseeing, but I think it was a good blend of chilling at the hotel and getting some work done as well as getting out and doing some fun things, exploring the area, and we really, really enjoyed it. It was really fun. So I'm glad we went. I would not be opposed to going back again. I kind of wanted to go over everything that I brought with me and kind of compare and see if it was worth bringing it on vacation. I think that's the big question. All the projects that you bring with you on your trip, like what are you actually going to use? So I just wanted to share my experience and kind of overall what I would do differently, what would I do the same for the next trip that we end up taking and the yarn that I'll need to bring for that. So let's see, I think first and foremost, I was able to finish my Brookline blouse, which is so fun. I definitely need to steam block so the sleeves lie a little better. And then the bottom, I did not weave in the ends for the last like four inches because I wanted to make sure that it is a good length for the types of pants I would wear with it. And so I did not, finish weaving the end so I could try it on when I got here um, and have not done that yet but I'm like 99% of the way done so if it is a good length then I am totally done and can fasten off and be finished with this so I'm super excited I'm glad I brought that it was a really fun project honestly to bring it was kind of my distraction when I was getting frustrated with designs that I was working on or really needed to decompress after a hard time with my toddler this was a great mindless easy scrappy project to work on. I'm really grateful that I brought that as like almost my reward for getting the stuff done I needed to do. I could have a project that I was really looking forward to in the end of it all. Also as far as like finishing things for the book designs that I'm working on, I got through most of my cowl. I need to block it and then seam it together 
but other than that it's pretty much done so that's like 95% of the way done I'm really happy about that and then I had a baby blanket pattern that I have the pattern basically written up I just got to stitch it through and I just started the pattern I'm maybe like six inches to it so I have a ways to go but super mindless so the hardest part is changing the colors and cutting the ends and I know I'll have to weave them all in but I got the hard part which was starting it getting my size and knowing how the pattern is gonna work out so I started that so I'm really happy I did that even though I definitely brought more yarn than I needed to bring I brought two skeins of each of the three colors I was using I only dipped into the first of each color because I didn't get very far in the blanket so mm, that's one thing to think about I think it's easy to want to bring all the skeins you have for a project if you're bringing that project with you but maybe just think about how much you'll actually use because I did not need to bring all six skeins for that project. And I will remind you that I can't show those because they are going to be published in a book next fall, 2023. And so I can't actually show those to you. So I try not to show them. You might have seen a couple of little sneak peeks of them in the background of what I was working on. But I can't really show or talk about too many details. So, but I'm really happy I made some progress on those. And then another design type thing that you all saw at the very tail end unfortunately it looks kind of inappropriate i promise it's a baby sock but it definitely looks inappropriate i don't know i was gonna give it as a gift to my sister-in-law for her baby and i don't know anymore we'll have to figure that out but at least i finished one sock we'll have to figure out exactly what i'm gonna do about that i was hoping to do color work tutorials for my Instagram reels and that just didn't happen because my gimbal setup that I have now just can't get a really good angle to like oversee my hands close enough with great detail it's just it wasn't working out so I just decided to scrap that I need less stress I'm on vacation and this week I will just use a different tripod setup in order to get the videos that I was hoping to get to do a tutorial so I'll need to cast on the second sock soon with the next day or two so that I can get to the color work portion on the second sock and then who I brought lots of projects but I'm really actually happy about how I did so I brought a bolero custom order that I am making I'm hoping to get it done by this coming Saturday so I'm on good track to do that I finished the second front panel seamed everything together did the little scallop cool edging thing did a sleeve I'm happy with it and so I started the second sleeve. So I'm super, super happy. I'm on track to be able to finish in time for this custom order. I'm really happy with it. But then part of me is like, actually, I would love something kind of similar to this. Just do a little tweak. So let me know if you'd want a pattern. Oh, can't. Let me know if you'd want this in a pattern. I'd probably make it, a, this is more fitted. I'd probably make it a little bit less fitted so that maybe like the fronts actually cross I'm not quite sure let me know if you would want to see a cardigan kind of like this style so I'm really happy about that I just barely started dipping into the second skein so I needed that second skein to bring with me on this trip which is good I think my final project is the one that I did not anticipate actually really getting to but it was the sock that I had that's been kind of lingering for a while it's the daily socks by Summerly Knits and I finished one sock on Sunday because I only work on projects that are not related to making a profit or anything so whether that's a personal self-care project a donation project a gift for somebody like that's what I like to work on I didn't end up having anything to work on because most of these are projects or designs or things and so then I got a lot of time on Sunday to work on this sock so I was able to get through like half the foot and the toe on my first sock and I was able to get through the cuff leg and then part of the heel on the second sock so that's huge progress in a day it's awesome and so I'm really happy that I was able to work on it because it definitely started reinvigorating my love for socks and that they actually go pretty quick and don't take that long if you just take the time to sit down and work on them a little bit and yeah so I'm really happy that I brought these with me because 
it was kind of like a last minute like eh, like these are just kind of bring everywhere with me project but we'll see if I get to them and I got to them <laughs> in a big way so I'm super happy about that and I think that's all the projects that I brought with me I managed to snag a few skeins of yarn from Tempe yarn of fiber which I'm so happy about definitely I have a color palette lots of really interesting fibers I wish that I'd had this skein caked up while I was in the store they ask most yarn stores will cake up yarn for you in the store if you need it right away but I didn't think I would use it right away and then the sock idea that I had in mind to use this yarn for just kept rolling around in my brain and I'm getting so excited for it and I was really bummed that I couldn't cast on right away. It was just mulling around in my brain for a few days and I just, ugh, I just really want to cast on. So after I'm done with this video, I'm going to get this all caked up so I can get started because I'm really excited. And honestly, I feel like I had a good spread of projects to work on and I feel like I got a lot done and met most of my goals for my knitting and crochet that I wanted to work on. I felt really productive and I'm really happy with what I did and I was also able to get some fun things done too. When I do another trip, I think I will bring a little bit more fun projects to work on that maybe can work as a reward for getting work done or as something for like decompressing if I'm not wanting to do work but I can still enjoy my hobby it is a vacation after all so I think that would be something that I would do a little different I would just bring a little bit more fun projects to work on but overall I'd feel like I did really well and I didn't really have too much extra stuff that I didn't end up using I think I brought my let's see I brought my interchangeable my cheap interchangeable crochet hook set that I didn't end up using I did bring an interchangeable set for my like sock needles which I did end up using a little bit I mean I probably could have taken the time to pull out just the one other pair of needles I needed in order to complete my sock project and then I wouldn't have had to bring this whole thing but like that's not that much extra stuff it, it's fine it's fine I did pretty good I'm proud of myself let me know when you go on trips what kinds of things you like to bring with you so that you can do some crafting on the go I love to chat with you down in the comments, so definitely talk to me down there. Let me know what you enjoyed seeing from my vlog and what you would love to see more of from me because I would love to keep sharing with you all things yarn. Make sure, if you haven't already, to subscribe to my channel. I love having all of you part of my community here. So until next time, happy making. Bye.